Hey guys, it's me, Dark Renegade of 50. Um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, my comic book collection. Um, roughly, uh, these are the only two boxes I have. Um, I'm going to be making, uh, probably going to split this video into two parts. Uh, first, I'm going to show you uh, mostly my Marvel comics, and I also got some DC. Um, the vast majority of my collection is Amazing Spider-Man and Venom. Uh, also, there's like a bunch of newer stuff that just recently came out throughout the years from 2011 to 2010. Um, basically, uh, long story short, I just actually got started in getting into comics around um, and the, around the premiere of the Thor movie. And they gave out um, the first issue of Mighty Thor by Matt Fraction. And pretty much I was really enjoyed by his stories and pretty much that's how I got uh, into collecting. So basically I got two boxes, um, mostly they're mixed up, so, I mean, they're somewhat in order, but not in, like, universe, like, DC, Marvel, so it really doesn't matter which comic I put in the box, so, uh, uh, I guess I'll start off with this one right here. Uh, as you can see, it's mostly empty because the back of me, uh, I got something planned for the second part, but I won't tell you now, but anyway, um, uh, just... I got some of the new stuff here, uh, Dark Avengers and the New Avengers. Uh, I got the first issue of Civil War. I still got to get this uh, series. I hear it's very good. Uh, Civil War number two, which, you know, you know, uh, Peter Parker amassed himself. Yeah, I got a whole lot of the new stuff and the old stuff. Um, Spawn number eight, which was, you know... Uh, the cover swipe off Spider-Man number one, which he uh, Todd McFarlane did. Uh, big fan of his. Really love his artwork. Uh, got the new Justice League number one. So far, I'm reading it. So far, it's pretty good. I uh, got the whole series of that. Number two, three. Um, some Green Lantern. Uh, Yellow Lantern, Sinestro. Uh, got the Death of Spider-Man Ultimate series. Um... Now, yes, this was pretty much, you know, a controversial issue, and then they moved on to Mars Morales, I mean, sorry, uh, as being the new Spider-Man. Um, I've been hearing rumor that they're going to be doing um, Spider-Men, so maybe Peter Parker might come back and join up with Miles. Uh, that's what I hear so far. But yeah, um, so yeah, here I got the Ultimate Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man, number one through... Uh, pretty much six but uh, all the my other comics are somewhere else in my house um, so you know these are pretty much small boxes um, yeah so far the story is good I'm really actually happy with it um, also from last year's uh, Marvel events uh, fear itself and as I mentioned before it's autographed by Matt Fraction right here um, got it autographed at Fan Expo So yeah, I pretty much have the whole rundown of mostly all the the, the Fear Itself titles from book well, book one through seven, I believe. Yeah, this was actually a pretty good uh, series. Highly recommend if you guys check it out. Um, yeah, mostly I got all the tie-ins, the Fearless, which is actually the events after it, Iron Man tie-ins mostly. Um, also, Avengers Academy. I uh, got the X-Men ones as well. I uh, got their last issue right here. Uh, 544. Um, Mighty Thor. Oh yeah, this is the comic I was mentioning earlier, which is here. Uh, the Mighty Thor number one. Um, yeah, this was a great, great, great uh, read. Matt Fraction is really a good uh, writer, in my opinion. And uh, also, I showed you this too. This is also autographed by him. I don't know if you see the autograph, but it's right there. Um, yeah, mostly Thor. Big fan of Thor. Uh, here's some Transformers. I believe I showed this before in my Transformers collection. It's a reissue, uh, number 13 with Megatron. Uh, number 43 with Rodimus and Galvatron. And most of the Dark and the Moon stuff, the prequels to the, the movie... Uh, these were okay. Um, as for my Transformer comic collection, I'm not really much into it. Uh, I really can't keep up with the IDW, and mostly the comic stores that I go to don't really have much of them. They don't really get a lot of issues, and mostly when I try to get them, they're always out of uh, sold out. 
Yeah, just mostly the movie adaptations I have here. Um, some IDW stuff here too. Some free comic book day stuff. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much the last issue where I left off. Uh, and then after I just dropped the title because I couldn't really keep up with it. Um, here's another one. Uh, Future Foundation. Uh, really wasn't too impressed by it. Uh, story kept convoluting itself and they just stuck with the same, same story throughout maybe 12 issues. So I got sick and tired of it. Um, you know, the death of uh, Johnny, Johnny Storm was, you know, basically reset because he just came back in the uh, issue 600. Um, also trying to get, um, what else, trying to get the full set of Blackest Night from Green Lantern, and as you can see, I got the full set of, uh, so far of, uh, Red Lanterns here in my hand. I really love the Red Lanterns, one of my, my favorite lantern group of all, issue one right here. Um, yeah, so pretty much this is just a mixed box of comics I just threw in there, mostly Thor. Um, pretty much here's more of my Amazing Spider-Man and just other stuff. So, yeah, this is just, you know, I gotta get a bigger box and stuff and, uh, fit everything into one. But, yeah, this is just a, mostly just mix of Marvel and DC. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to mention I got, uh, Iron Man 2.0. This got cancelled, unfortunately, so I dropped the title anyway because I knew it was gonna happen eventually. But anyway, um, so I'm going to cut this short and uh, we'll head into the next box. See you then. So yeah, anyway, sorry about that guys. Uh, I just wanted to move this box to the table so I could have a better reach of my comics as I know I was showing, you know, my cat, my, the camera was shaking too much and I didn't really get a good grasp on the comics, but anyway. Uh, so anyway, this is the second box and this is just mostly Amazing Spider-Man and all types of uh, Spider-Man books, Ultimate, Amazing. But anyway, um... Got some of the what ifs. This is probably the only one I have so far. This is where uh, what would happen if uh, Peter Parker married the Black Cat. Um, also, I got a reprint of uh, 129, first appearance of the Punisher. Uh, it's a good read, uh, but it's a it's a freaking expensive comic book if you want to have it CGC'd. Um, oh yes, this one, however, is uh, not a reprint. This is Amazing Spider-Man 194, which is the first appearance of the Black Cat. Um, I would say it's about a 7.5 condition off to white pages. Um, I'm thinking I might get this CGCs and C for myself, or I might wait and see if I can get it autographed by Stan Lee at one point. But yeah, this was a, a really hard pickup to get, and I'm glad I have it in my collection. Um, um, so far, I'm trying to collect uh, Secret Wars. Uh, you know, It's probably one of the best stories out there from the 80s. You know, it was also the series where, you know, it was really awesome and stuff. Um, also where Spider-Man got his uh, black costume from. Um, also, let's see. Uh, also, first appearance of Silver Sable in this issue. Yeah, mostly I got, I'm more of the fan of the 80s Spider-Man. Um, you know, because I love his black costume better than his uh, red and blue. Um, it just looked better to me, and I got 297, the issue before Todd McFarlane took over. Um, yeah, I do have some McFarlane, um, Spider-Man books here. Uh, yeah, and David Michelini, Grey Hulk, Todd McFarlane stuff, you can't beat it. Punisher, uh, Venom cameos. We'll get to that later. Uh, here's another one. This is the first appearance of uh, Cletus Cassidy, uh, 344, which becomes Carnage later on. Cardiac, some of the old villains. Also have his uh, 365 issue, the 30th anniversary issue. And in this one, it has the Carnage and Venom poster, and it's still in there. I am um, probably might buy another uh, issue like this, where it has the poster, and I'll just take it out. Um, it's really cool. Uh, yeah, just some random issues. But yeah, these are mostly in all order. Um, Spider Slayer storyline. Story also with Black Cat in it as well. Yeah. I haven't read this yet, but I will. 
uh, as you can see there is a Venom cameo in this as well uh, leading up to 375 oh yeah this is I have um, Ben Riley, the clone of uh, Spider-Man um, this is where he gets infected by the Carnage symbiote and he was known as Spider Carnage also got the Back in Black series um, to me it was uh, okay uh, not many two people liked this series of the fact that uh, Peter Parker revealed his identity in the Civil War comics and uh, Aunt May was shot and he was trying to save her so yeah I have the whole run of this um, New Ways to Die now this was actually a good story um, this is where Thunderbolts made their appearance and uh, Norman Osborn was um, the leader of the group um, at the time Venom wasn't Eddie Brock and it went to Max Gargan who was the Scorpion so yeah, I have the full series on this as well book two, book three, four, five, and six. Um, Spider-Man Family with this with black costume on that too. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of black, back and black stuff in here. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah, the back and black series was okay. It wasn't perfect, but you know, I was glad. It was nice to see uh, Spider-Man back in his uh, costume. And this is also uh, uh, Eddie Brock story with these two issues that I have. Um, yeah, also, this is the relaunch of the Amazing Spider-Man, Venom. Um, now here I have, uh, 654 with, uh, Scorpion in it, and this also was the, this issue also shows you that Flash Thompson would be the Venom, uh, with, you know, he would be with the Venom symbiote, and I have the, uh, point one right here as well. Uh, I love Dan Slott. Oh yeah, here's a free comic book. Dan Slott to me is also a great writer. Um, he knows how to write stuff. And, you know, Ramos, uh, he's a really good artist. Love his work. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much these are all just the recent issues. Oh, yeah. Here's the one with anti venom in it. Um, Spider Island. Um, let's see, where is it? Yeah, here is um, my Amazing Spider Man number 666, uh, the Spider Island storyline. And this is part of the Silver Snail comics. This is their variant. Uh, really, really cool. Um, you know, kind of awesome that all over the world, other comic books put their picture in the Spider-Man books as well. Uh, so, yeah, I got all parts of this. Um, I even have some of the tie-ins as well. Oh, yeah. some uh, I got some spectacular Spider-Mans, mostly. Uh, Death of Gene the Wolf. Um, Sin Eater. Uh, spectacular Spider-Man number 200 with Harry Osborn as the Green Goblin. We we'll have a Spider number one. This is where um, uh, Peter Parker gets rid of the Venom symbiote and then goes to Eddie Brock. Uh, that was a good issue too. Uh, some of them. Uh, we we'll have a Spider-Man. I loved a lot. It's pretty cool. Uh, good stories. First appearance of Chance. Oh, and here is uh, the Eddie Brock Venom cameo. His first ever. Cameo appearance in the Spider-Man title. Um, yeah, just mostly a web of Spider-Man from here. Also, Venom also makes a little cameo in this issue too, number 24. Um, with, well, here's one with Wolverine. Um, also too, I got trying to collect mostly of the last hunt of, of Kraven. Uh, this was pretty cool as well. I have to complete this set as well as uh, too. Um, Here's another classic cover swipe from one of the early titles of Amazing Spider-Man. I believe it was number eight, I think. And where Peter goes back to his high school. And yeah, just mostly what was Spider-Man. What else? Let's see. Oh yes, uh, yeah, I got some of the the other Hollow Web of Spider-Man, number ninety. Oh uh, yeah, here is probably the one of the best ever covers. Spider-Man number one by Todd McFarlane, written by Todd McFarlane. Just an overall great, great cover. I love this issue. I love the whole Torment series. It's really awesome. With the lizard. I've got the full set of this as well. Um, yeah, this was just great. Uh, Ghost Rider, Tom McFarlane stuff. Um, also, i got to complete this one with Ro Wolverine and the Sasquatch. Um, yeah. Here's, here's another one. Here's another uh, variant. This is number 13, the Subsidy storyline. And this is the where he's wearing his black costume. Um, love it. 
probably be one of my probably be my favorite cover of all time in Spider-Man. Um, also part two to that. Ultimate Spider-Man first appearance. Um, not first appearance. Uh, Eddie Brock appearance. This is where in the Ultimate Universe where Eddie Brock gets the symbiote. Get the full uh, story on this as well. Uh, Thirty-five. Love this issue as well. Uh, yeah. Just a lot of Ultimate Spider-Man. Getting into that. And here's the Fear Itself tie-ins I have with it. Um, Punisher, Marvel Tales, Tigra, Spider-Girl, and the Spider-Island storyline. Got the full three set of this as well. And yeah, uh, Spider-Man and Moon Knight. So yeah, this is pretty much uh, mostly all my Spider-Mans. The rest of them are with Venom in it. Uh, so I'm going to go do that video. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this piece of my collection. Uh, so I'll be right back and I'll show you my Venom collection. Stay tuned. Anyway, welcome back, guys. So uh, in this last part now, um, as you know, as I stated before, I'm a huge Venom fan, Eddie Brock fan in the Marvel Universe. And um, I'm going to show you all my Venom comics, Amazing Spider-Man appearances, and also I'll show you off some of my figures that I got recently. Um, so let's get started. So here's the whole group shop right here. Here is all my Venom comics up to date. Uh, keep in mind, none of these are all complete uh, in terms of the story. I still got to finish my collection off. But um, yeah, so you know it's a, it's a lot. Um, so, so far from here, I got Secret Wars number 8. That's the first appearance of the symbiote costume, which becomes Venom eventually. Um, Amazing 252, first appearance of the black costume in the Amazing Spider-Man series. And also I have the Marvel team up Spider-Man and Daredevil, 141 with Black Widow. Um, uh, obviously I have 299, first Todd McFarlane Spider-Man. Uh, this is the first Eddie Brock uh, cameo. Uh, 299, this is where Venom makes a cameo at the end of it. Uh, great, great issue by the way. Um. Now, the thing is, I don't have issue 300. Uh, one day I will, and um, Amazing Spider-Man 300 is my holy grail, and hopefully one day I will get it. Um, also here I have 316, where uh, Venom makes his return in The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, once again, by Todd McFarlane. Uh, he drew this up until um, when he left and did his own comic series on Spider-Man. Um, <clears throat> 332... 333, uh, missing um, 340, 345 where uh, Eddie Brock returns and Venom, but I have pretty much where Venom gets revenge on Spider-Man, and one of the most iconic covers is uh, 347. Um, also too, I have uh, the Carnage cameo in this issue here. And I have 361, first full appearance of Carnage right here and I I also have three copies of 362 of Venom and Carnage versus Spider-Man uh, this one right here I read and this one I'm going to try to get uh, autographed by Mark Bagley and this one is a sen second printing variant and also I have the last part to this as well um, 363 also, I have uh, Spirit of Venom, uh, one of the crossovers for uh, Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze and Spider-Man. Yeah, I gotta finish that collection and read that as well. Um, also, I got the 374 and the Anniversary Gold Foil cover of 375. Basically, Spider-Man and Venom's last fight in the Amazing Spider-Man title. You know, up until that point. Um, also, this is really awesome. I have uh, Hulk vs. Venom number one. Uh, really, really good condition. Um, I think I believe they showed this in my previous videos for my comic book haul from Fan Expo. Um, probably going to get this CGC'd one day. Uh, as I turn over here, I got the whole set of Venom Letho Protector from one to six. Yeah, I uh, still haven't read that yet. Um, for me, what I like to do is read mostly all the stories 
first and you know do read it in chronological order um also got some of the she venom uh eddie brock's wife gets infected by a symbiote also venom and wolverine tooth and claw i still gotta complete that too so anyway also too i have uh venom versus carnage still gotta complete this set too um this is also marking um toxin appearing in this series um, as for the newer titles that I have here, I got the 2011 series of Venom, uh, by, uh, Rick Remender and Tony Moore and Tom Flowler. Uh, I showed that off in my, uh, previous haul video before. Second printing, got number two, three, four, five, Spider-Man Island Titans from, uh, issue six to nine, um, Venom 10, 11. And also got 12, 13, 13.1, and uh, yeah, so this so far this ongoing series of Venom from Rick Remender, I really love it a lot. Um, Flash Thompson as a Venom, as Venom, to me, it's a, he's actually good for the role, I like it, but you know, um, you know, I hope they don't screw up with any of the storylines, I hope that he doesn't get boring. Um, so, you know, so far it's been a good, uh, series, and I highly recommend it if you're trying to get into comics. Uh, so I got some, um, team-ups. I got Silver Sable with Venom, and here's all the Maximum Carnage with Venom in it. Uh, so far this is incomplete. I only got from 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, and... 12 i'm missing about maybe three or two more issues to complete this set um and recently from last i think last month in july uh since venom was uh heading into 24 years marvel uh um did some variants so uh here's some variants i got i got captain america number seven uh variant edition so he's with the venom symbiote really cool um amazing spider-man number 678 with Mary Jane with the symbiote um, from the classic uh, moment when Peter met Mary Jane for the first time except she's infected with the symbiote too um, also of course I got Venom number 12 the variant edition with uh, Jack Lennon infected with the symbiote um, yeah these are all going to get CGC one day and Invincible Iron Man number 512 really really awesome really really love this um, but the last thing I wanted to show you, part of my Venom collection, well, here's just some doubles I got of Venom, but this here is my first CGC, um, wrapped in the plastic bag, and this is Amazing Spider-Man number 569, graded at a 9.6 white pages. Uh, Venom variant. Um, this is the issue where Eddie Brock becomes anti-Venom. So I not only do I have the regular version, but I also have the variant edition. Um, 9.6. Really, really awesome. Um, Dan Slott story, John Ramona Jr., Cleus Jason, Andy Gravola cover. Um, yeah. Got this for good buy on eBay, so I bought this on eBay. I didn't get this CGC, I purchased it off eBay, so it was already graded for me. Um, but yeah, recently I've discovered uh, ways to get my comics graded, so you know, eventually I might make a collection of more CGC. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, also, too, um, oh yeah, so here's my collection from many, many years, so. So far, I got these are the only Venom figures that I have in my collection. I got the belt figure, Venom, uh, the lead figure, one of the early Venom figures from Amazing Spider-Man, and also my uh, Transformers crossovers Venom deluxe figure. So that's pretty much all that I have for Venom toys. Um, don't really have much other than that. So yeah. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching my comic book collection. Um, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, have really done a collection video in a long time. But anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, uh, rate, comment, whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.